So on a movie night, what else do you think about when it comes to food? Hot dogs. Most movie outlets would have a hot dog. But I didn't want to just do a hot dog for you, despite how wonderful these Kiss hot dog rolls are. But I couldn't just do a hot dog. So using these Kiss Enriched Bread hot dog rolls, I decided that I'll kick it up a notch because this is a fancy romantic movie night. I am doing a garlicky shrimp roll. How's it? How does that sound? Come on. Mouth watering. Garlicky shrimp in this lovely butter roll is going to go down fantastic on movie night. Let's show you how easy it is to put this together. I have some shrimp. I have some pretty jumbo shrimp. You know, these come in different sizes. Um, but you want, a, you want a big juicy shrimp for this guy. You know, you want to bite into the shrimp. If you have baby shrimp, use the baby shrimp. Don't be afraid. This is quickly how it's done. Salt, season up your shrimp, salt, some pepper. Now, as I said, I like a little, I like some medium pepper, slight to medium. So I will have some pepper flakes that I have from the last segment. I, I have that in there. This is a garlicky shrimp. So I want about four, if I can probably get four to five cloves to fit in my garlic press. Um, and you want to mince or finely chop some garlic. So you see all that good garlic going in there? And uh, then I want some rosemary. So I really just want a bit of rosemary. Rosemary is a lovely flavor that kind of goes with garlic. There's something about rosemary and garlic that's another one of those perfect combinations in the culinary world. Rosemary and garlic, I love it. And rosemary is a very strong herb, guys, so you don't really need much. You see how little, probably about, I would say, a half a teaspoon. And if you're smelling the rosemary flavor coming out there right away. Um, to that, I could just mix that up there, guys. Make sure every, all the shrimp is nicely seasoned. So I have about six shrimp. I think six to seven shrimp here is, is, is good for this, for this roll um, because I want a nice pile up roll. I am adding some olive oil. Now, I, 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 I'm adding olive oil liberally. I really just want this olive oil. I want the shrimp almost taking a bath in this olive oil. So, not, 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 not drowning it, but covering it just. Just covering it. That's, that's kind of what I want. And I put this in the oven and bake for just about seven to nine minutes. Um, you gotta watch it based on the size of your shrimp, based on how your oven is working. Seven to nine minutes. I have some baking away. Let's pull it out, let's see if it's cooked perfectly, and then let's get these rolls rolling and cracking out. So I have a set that was in the oven baking here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So you see all that olive oil, good, good, wonderful flavor. Um, the thing about this dish is that you can serve this as is. Huh? This, this can serve as is lovely shrimp and you have a nice toothpick and you, you can pick away. But when you have these wonderful rolls from Kiss, why just stop there? So what I need now is a knife because I whipped together a very quick, spicy mayonnaise spread. Now I use sriracha, you can use pepper sauce, so it's really like a sriracha flavored mayonnaise that I mix together just for that little peppery kick. And all I'm doing is really taking it and spreading it on my roll. I toasted my rolls, guys. Um, must, must get the rolls toasted. I have some butter lettuce. Any lettuce you have, there's some lovely grown, locally grown lettuce now that's available. I got some lovely butter lettuce that I just want to pile in there. One of the things about the shrimp roll that I, that I think I, I, I really, I suppose, almost automatically kind of go to. Um, I had a lobster roll a few years ago when, when, when I traveled. And when I had this lobster roll, I tell you, it was, it was one of the greatest things I've ever had. Hunks of lobster meat piled on a very simple roll. We asked the lady, where do you get the best lobster rolls? I think we were in Maine, somewhere up on that side. She said, there are no 
bad lobster rolls in Maine. Only good lobster rolls. Some better than others, but no bad ones. And she was right. We had quite a couple lobster rolls. There were no bad ones. All I do is I pile this lovely shrimp. Look at that, guys. Any more can fit in there? Probably not. So let's do another one. The idea here is that you want every single bite to be biting into lovely shrimp, garlicky flavor. Just for good measure. I am just going to take some of this garlicky olive oil I told you about. Just give it a nice little, that little extra punch and flavor. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is movie night. Up a notch. You bite into that. And if you finish the movie, call me. Because when I bite into that, I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> Try the recipe, guys. Check our YouTube channel at Cup of Joe Caribbean. This is movie night. This is movie night with a real, real difference. Not just an ordinary hot dog. We took those kiss rolls and made some wonderful garlicky shrimp rolls. Try the recipe on our YouTube channel. Come on back. Still one more recipe to come. Chef Cheryl and Show Charles is standing by. Wow. Home Sweet Home is brought to you by Kiss Enriched Bread. Fill your day with love.